it's currently around 5 o'clock a.m. And usually when I wake up, I have to get myself out of bed right away because I hold back asleep like this. So I have to keep my body moving. But I kind of wanted to try something different today because I wanted to implement the habit of reading like 10 pages or 15 pages every single morning. So I'm going to experiment with that today and see if I can do it in bed right now without falling back asleep. So we're going to try and see if that works in our favor. I feel like if I sit myself up, prop myself up a little bit, it will be fine. And also it gives me a little bit more time in bed just to relax and enjoy my bed before I have to get out of it, you know, because it's so warm. So I have my iPad here with my book downloaded. I'm going to read 15 pages, see how long it takes me of Atomic Habits and go from there. I just read 10 pages I stayed awake that was actually really motivating and that's why I want to start this every morning just to give myself that extra boost of motivation right when I wake up and instead of scrolling on social media you guys know I don't go on my phone in the morning so instead of doing that I feel like it's really good to put some educational books in my brain and just motivate myself I'm gonna try to do this habit tomorrow again and see how it goes but so far so good I think I'm gonna try to implement this every day just for 10 minutes or 15 pages or whatever um, amount I want to do that morning. <laughs> Anyways, let's get out of the bed before I actually do fall back asleep. from Grace and Stella. It's like an energy drink for your eyes, so we'll see about that. She's like not sticking at all. Is that supposed to happen? Okay, I got it to stick. Oh, whoa, well, maybe not. Okay, this one's sticking a lot nicer. Are we in our eye mask era now? These actually feel really good though. There's kind of like a cooling sensation that's going on here and it's already making me feel more awake, which is amazing. I don't know why they're, they're not sticking well though. That's the only thing. Okay, let's go downstairs, do some journaling, drink our bone broth and get ourselves ready for the gym for real now. got dressed in my workout set i'm wearing this sports bra from ritzia this is like my go-to black sports bra it's in their butter collection the material is amazing and then these leggings i got them so long ago i honestly don't remember but they're very buttery they remind me of the ritzia butter line as well but they're not so i forget the brands but once you get in your workout clothes it's such a good feeling because there's no going back from here so we're gonna go work out and I'm gonna do my hair and stuff and then get my water pack my bag and then we're gonna leave the house i want to keep these eye patches on so badly because they feel so good but we have to leave so i have to take them off unfortunately <laughs> Just made it 
in the car. I'm so grateful to have my car back because I was out the other day and thankfully I was with my sister and a friend but I was driving and my car battery died so we were stranded for a little bit and then we had to get jump started. My battery in my car was so old. I don't, I've never changed it since I've had my car and I've had this car now for almost five years so it was about time to get a new battery anyways but anyways I couldn't drive my car for the day because I didn't want to risk it taking it out to a workout or something and then getting stranded again because that would have really sucked since we had gotten it back into the garage finally. So I went to Costco because we were going there anyway and I bought a battery because they sell car batteries there and I installed it with my brother he came to help me because me and Joel were gonna do it and just watch a YouTube video because apparently it's super easy but we didn't have we don't have tools so I was like wait we need a wrench for this so my brother brought a wrench and helps me put a battery in so I'm just thankful that my car is running you don't really realize how much you rely on your car and how convenient it is to have a car until that's taken away from you and that's honestly like a lot of things in life you don't appreciate them to their full capacity or enough until it's taken away from you and you're like wow that really does make a big difference in my everyday life and it's actually affecting me which is funny so that just goes to really show that we should be grateful for what we have because anything at any moment could be taken away from us including materialistic things people and so just make sure you tell your family or your friends that you love them today this car thing really just put everything into perspective for me because I'm like damn I really have to appreciate everything more in my life not just just my car but people and just everything as a whole too because you never know what can happen and things could be ripped away from you so anyways I don't want to go too deep into that because it's a bit dark but I just thought that I'd put that out there because I feel like that's just so important and I'm just very appreciative to have my car back so anyways going to go work out now and then after my workout I'm gonna go grocery shopping because I gotta get some ingredients for dinner and it's just gonna be like a quick little shop probably and I also really really want to get my nails done today so once they open I'm gonna call and see if they have an appointment because these are getting so bad i've let them grown out too much so anyways okay let's get going go work out really random side note but i've been listening to podcasts on my way to the gym and stuff instead of music recently and i've been loving it it's honestly so motivating you just have to find the right podcast please leave any podcast recommendations down below um, I'm gonna be starting my own soon, so that's exciting, but I don't know, it just hits different, and I don't know, I just feel like I'm learning while I'm driving, and it's motivating me, and it's just such a different vibe. Obviously, music has its time and place, but I want to start listening to more, like, motivational, educational podcasts in the new year, because I just, I feel so good after listening to one. It's also a form of entertainment in a way, too, so anyways, I just thought that I'd put that out there, because I feel like podcasts are underrated. <laughs> So a little bit of a plot twist. You know how I was just explaining to you guys how I'm so grateful that my car is starting again? Um, <laughs> it's not. Um, I just sat literally on the couch for an hour contemplating what to do because I could not work out yesterday or the day before that because of my car. So I'm in a bit of a pickle. I let it beat me down for a bit because I was like, this sucks. I need to film my video. I wanna work out. I wanna be productive. But you know what? I just really wanna be authentic with you guys. And I feel like if I completely just scrapped this video, that would be very inauthentic of me because I'm hiding the imperfections in my life and when things go wrong but that's just life and if i were to not show this then that's just a little bit fake of me i feel like there's a balance between spreading you know positivity as i always want to do and i always want to give you guys motivation and make you feel good but i am also a real human who is definitely not even close to perfect and things like this happen to me and i feel like i should just start documenting them more instead of completely scrapping the video because I was this close to just not doing this video, which would mean that I would not have an upload on this day that you're watching it. So when life gives you lemons, you gotta make lemonade. <laughs> I used to hear that saying all the time and it's kind of so true. Everything happens for a reason. This is happening for a reason and who knows. I always like to think of it like maybe the universe has to take my car away from me because if I was driving this week, something bad would have happened. And I don't like to think like that, but in a way you have to be grateful that these types of things do happen even though it's really shitty in the moment. You have to be grateful that they happen because everything in your life is happening for you and not to you. Let that sink in because that statement is so powerful everything that happens to you in your life is going to lead you to where you want to be your final destination and so this right now this is happening for me and it's for the better 
And even though something just as stupid as having car problems, it could be really, really frustrating. You just can't let things like this in life beat you down and ruin your day. I was in a bad mood for a bit there, but I bounced back and I'm like, you know what? It's okay to feel my emotions. It's okay to be a little bit upset because this sucks. It kind of ruins my plans for the rest of the week, but you got to feel that and then flip it and look at the positive side of things and make do with what you got. So that's what I'm doing today. I just find it so ironic how I was just saying how I'm so grateful that my car starts and then it just doesn't start. I actually was like, you're done. Like, you're, this has to be a joke. Anyways, so that's the moral of the story. At the end of the day, it is freezing cold outside right now. It's like negative one, zero degrees. But I think I'm gonna walk myself to the grocery store and get groceries because I want exercise. I haven't gotten exercise in a few days because it's been raining and freezing and I haven't been able to leave the house to the gym. So I haven't been getting any exercise. It's actually sunny today. So there's no rain. It's not too cloudy. It's pretty nice actually. So even though it is really, really cold, I'm just gonna bundle up and we're gonna go to the grocery store together and buy some things for dinner or else we're gonna have no groceries for dinner. So like I said, you gotta make do with what you have. I used to walk to the grocery store sometimes in my old apartment, but I have never walked to the grocery store here in my new place. So I do wish it was a little hotter outside so it would be nicer, but at least it's not raining. So we got this and then we can also get exercise in. So yeah, anyways, that's the update. This video and my plans took a bit of a turn, but we're working with what we got here. So let's go on a walk and let's go grocery shopping. Here is the walking outfit of today. I hope that this is enough. I put like a wool sweater or like a fuzzy sweater underneath my puffer and then I have on gloves, some earmuffs. So hopefully this will do it because I also don't want to dress too too warm because I know that once I start walking I'm probably going to get hot and then I just have leggings on which are super thin so I'm kind of scared my legs are going to freeze but we're hoping for the best here. <laughs> and then I got my little tote bag for my groceries. So anyways, let's go in the freezing cold get some groceries. I literally almost ate shit because I didn't realize that it's so cold there'd be ice on the floor and I was slipping and sliding. I almost fell, but we're good now. Good morning. just finished grocery shopping. I went to a smaller grocery store than what I usually go to. So I can't make what I want us to make for dinner because I didn't have everything that I needed. So I kind of had to pivot. Glad I still got to get groceries for dinner tonight. So we're gonna have a sausages instead of soup with salad. But I picked up a midday square. There's supposed to be like a healthy alternative to chocolate. So I started getting really hungry. So I cracked it open and I took a bite and oh my gosh, it's so good. This is just hitting right now, so good. Here is my mini, mini grocery haul today. I just got these organic salted rounds. I love tortilla chips when they're round. I don't know why, but they're just so good. And then I just got some lettuce for tonight's dinner so I can make a salad and then some sausages. I'm probably gonna make rice. And then I just bought two cans of beans because I was gonna make the soup and then I ended up just buying the beans anyways because I will make the soup eventually. So it'll be nice to just have the beans. But anyways, that's a little grocery haul. And then I also got the midday square that I was telling you guys about and it was so good. So I just laid my mat out and I'm gonna do yoga. I'm actually really excited for this. If you guys didn't know, I used to do yoga like every single morning for 10 minutes at least. And I would follow a yoga video on YouTube, but I stopped doing that because now when I go to my workout classes and when I go to the gym, I just stretch there. So there's not really a need to do it before I leave the house, but I used to wake and do that every single day, which actually was so nice. Yeah, now I just do it outside of the house. So it's a little bit different. Basically I'm still doing it. It's just not in like the same routine. But since I can't drive to the gym or anything today, I did get a really good walk from going to the grocery store So that was really nice to even get fresh air because I feel like a lot of the times in the winter We don't get fresh air and even though it's freezing Outside and you can't really be out there for too too long It's still really nice to bundle up and just get outside for even if it's five ten minutes Just to breathe in some, you know, fresh air is really really good for you and to connect with nature somewhat So it actually felt really good to do that because all my workouts that I do are always indoor 
summer and in the summer though i do go on really long walks i was doing that like every day last summer and i was going on a walk every single morning and it was so nice because it was such a good temperature at that time so that was a vibe so i'm definitely gonna keep doing walks like that in the summer it's just so hard especially when it's like raining every day here and freezing cold for now we're gonna do a yoga video and every time i do a yoga video it just puts me in the best mood so why not make the best of today and bring that back let's do a yoga video again i'm probably gonna do a yoga video from yoga with cassandra i will link her channel down below i'm gonna do her 10 minute morning yoga video i did her 30 day yoga challenge once and it was so good i completed every single day and it was awesome so i really really love her classes even though my routine was thrown off today it's a bit different and i don't mind it let's do some yoga stretch out the body get into a good flow and when i do yoga i really try to quiet my mind and also simultaneously do a bit of a meditation so i come out all was feeling really really good one of my goals for 2024 is to get a little bit more flexible because i feel like i just don't stretch enough and when i do stretch i don't stretch for long enough doing yoga definitely helps so let's get into it and it's free you can do it for free <laughs> breakfast i just made this is a sweet potato yamble with poached eggs on top usually i would put avocado on this but unfortunately my avocado that i have is not ripe yet so i don't really want to eat a hard avocado so we're just gonna wait till it ripens but it'll still be good like this i made a little sauce to go with it so that's the vibe after i eat i'm gonna go shower and then start my work for the day but i'm so hungry i'm so excited to eat this hop in the shower that breakfast was so good and i thought that i would just read today's affirmation since i haven't read it yet because i was reading my book in the morning and i forgot so today is january 11th oh my god today's 111 crazy alignment affirmation is let there be quiet drifting through the sky gentle and light did you know that snow has a vital function in our winter landscape? It's not just decorative. Snow insulates the plants and animals that sleep beneath it. Many creatures and foliage need a specific time in hibernation or cold induced stasis in order to flourish in the spring. You too need a period of quiet to thrive. Wow, I actually love that. And it's so true. As much as I love to preach to be productive and I wake up early every morning so I can get a lot of things done in the day, I don't want to preach toxic productivity because it's so important, like this book said, to let yourself just be quiet, rest, spend some alone time maybe. Balance is everything in life. You can't have one thing without the other. As much as it makes me feel good to be productive, I do need to have those days where I just don't do anything and I have those quiet days. So very accurate really like that affirmation today i actually had no idea that animals did that that's actually pretty funny i'm also about to hit 200,000 subscribers i'm at 199,946. so i need 54 more subscribers which i am just i just can't believe it there were some people that didn't believe that i could get to 100,000 subscribers even and now i did it twice so I'm definitely gonna hit it today, maybe within the next hour or two, but I just wanted to say thank you guys in advance for your constant support and it truly does mean the world to me. I wouldn't be where I'm at without you guys and thank you for supporting my channel and always commenting the nicest things. I see every single one of your comments, so I appreciate them so much and I always try to answer to as many of them as I can. But thank you for clicking on my videos and watching me and even though I can't really see you on the other side of the camera i appreciate and love you so much and i'm sending you all the positive vibes and i can tear up right now because i'm just so appreciative and i love you guys so much 200,000 to me is crazy so i just wanted to say thank you anyways i'm gonna go shower So 
I somewhat got ready for the day. <laughs> I put on my pajama pants since things just didn't go as planned. I'm gonna soak it in and be a little extra comfy today. I at least like put some makeup on, got myself together. My hair is so greasy right now, so I'm just gonna keep these clips in because I need to wash it probably tonight. But I'm gonna muster up a quick to-do list. To-do lists are key to productivity, you guys, especially when I now I'm doing my 5 a.m. routine every day. The day feels so long. It's amazing, but if I don't make a to-do list, then I feel like I'm just wasting the day away because I am just scattered all over the place. I swear the days that I make a to-do list, I am 100 times more productive than when I don't have one. Even if you just have a couple things on that to-do list, it's still so much better than not making one. And that's like a habit that I've implemented every single day. I swear it's a game changer, especially if you have so many thoughts running through your brain. Like constantly, I feel like I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to do this. I need to do that. I need to get this. I need to remember that. Taking those thoughts that can overwhelm you and drain your energy and actually putting them on paper is such a relief and it helps more than you think it would. The stress of trying to hold everything that you need to do in your brain is so overwhelming and it just helps so much putting that onto paper. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I really wanted to get my nails done today, but I'm not going to be able to do that because I don't have a car. Technically, I could Uber there, but I feel like that's just so pointless. I'd rather just wait <laughs> until I get my car back for that. I'll get them done next week but they're just just don't mind them honestly i go through phases of how i make my to-do list sometimes i'll do it on my laptop sometimes i'll do it on paper sometimes i'll do it on my phone it just depends the day what i have to do if i have computer work to do all day and i'm sitting at home i'll probably just make it on a piece of paper quickly it just really depends i really do like making it on my phone and i have been recently my phone is so convenient i can bring it with me i go on my notes app so laundry i'm gonna put that first because i haven't done laundry in a while <laughs> that's a habit that i want to start getting better at is doing laundry i always tell myself i'm gonna get better at it and it just never happens so anyways laundry is first on that list i gotta edit this video i want to plan a rubric for an upcoming sponsorship i have to film this video the one that you're watching right now i have to make a thumbnail and i also want to order my imac today as you guys know if you've seen one of my last vlogs i was talking about how i'm going to be doing a office renovation and i really want to order myself an imac i kind of want to customize it and add extra storage and make it stronger so you can't really just go to buy that in the store if you want a customized one you have to order it in, in advance and i gotta order more bone broth yeah that's pretty much it editing this video is going to take up like the biggest chunk of my day so i start off with laundry because i feel like i have no clean underwear right now <laughs> or socks so <laughs> gonna go upstairs to do that and then we can get actually started for today I recently have developed an obsession to this lemon bubbly water that I just make myself and it's so good and it's keeping me so hydrated anyways so start with a cup full of ice you want to put a lot of ice and this is my bubbly water of choice you can get any bubbly water I'm almost out which is sad so I'm gonna stock up on these next time I go to the grocery store but I'm just gonna fill this with whatever I have left the other day at the grocery store, I picked up this organic lemon juice. It's 100% squeezed lemon, so there's nothing else in here but pure lemon juice. So instead of squeezing a lemon, it just makes it so much more convenient and easy to make this drink. So I love this for me. I just pour a little bit of that in. Just kind of eyeball the amount. And I mix it all together. And oh my goodness, it's addicting. I don't know what makes this so good compared to regular lemon water. It really fixes my cravings for any sort of pop. I can guzzle like eight of these a day, I swear, but please give it a try. If you guys are looking for a healthy drink alternative to have dinner with or just throughout the day, I'm actually obsessed. I will be drinking this till further notice. I let Joel try some and I'm like, oh my gosh, taste how good this is. And Joel's like, what the heck? What did you sweeten that with? And I'm like, I didn't sweeten it. 
It's just that good. Just thought I'd share because it's so good. go to bed soon waking up early makes you so tired early in the evening obviously now that it gets dark at like 4 p.m it just makes sense going to bed around 9 9 30 to 10 i feel like in the summer it's such a different vibe because the sun is out until like 9 30 and it would just feel so wrong going to bed at that time so i don't know what my sleep schedule is gonna be like in the summer but we'll see but anyways i have been reading atomic habits and it's been so good i just wanted to share a couple things that i've learned from the book basically what it's talking about right now is how little habits every day compound and make a huge difference in your life long term and we overestimate how much we can get done in a month two months even three months but we really underestimate how much we can get done and achieve in a year or two years or three years looking back on it it's so funny like the journey of my life when i'm working towards something i think it's taking me so long to get there and the journey feels like forever but then once i'm there and i look back i'm like wow this only took me two years and this is a huge accomplishment but he just really emphasizes the point that your daily habits that you do whether it's doing things to work towards a goal or for your own personal health or whatever it is they really compound every day you probably don't see a difference every single day but once you look back over time you will see a massive difference and a change it's like going to the gym every day you're not gonna see results after a day or a week or maybe even a month of going to the gym you only start seeing results after like maybe i don't know six months or whatever the timeline is that's why so many people quit on their goals and what they want to accomplish because they think that they're supposed to be seeing results right away but that's not the case results take a long time and our habits are compounding every single day and what we choose to do and what we choose to work towards and even though in the moment it may not seem like we're getting any better we are it's just kind of happening underground he made the comparison to a bamboo tree that spends the first like six years or something growing its roots underground and then all of a sudden within six weeks or something crazy like that it's so tall all of a sudden after six years so you kind of have to see it like that where even though you're not visually seeing any progress there's a lot being done behind like the scenes i guess of the universe and like what you're putting in one of the quotes in the book is success is the product of daily habits not once in a lifetime transformation so easy to overestimate the importance of one defining moment and underestimate the value of making small improvements on a daily basis and he also talks about the significance of getting even just better one percent a day and how that compounds in a year it's actually insane when you do the math and he does the math he shows graphs in the book the book is just so good i definitely recommend yeah so anyways i just wanted to give you guys some motivation at the end of the video since it's the new year i've been in my reading self-help book era and so i want to share what i learned with you guys but seriously you can achieve anything you set your mind towards and your daily habits do make a huge difference he also says in the book the same thing goes for bad habits they compound and then that's how you go down a downward spiral when you don't change anything any sort of goals that you have just know that you're going to get there and the journey might seem like it's taking forever but you're gonna get there it was like me at one point i was at 200 subscribers and it felt like I was never like it felt impossible how can I get to 100,000 how can I get to 10,000 but I just hit 200,000 which is insane if that is not real life proof of you guys can achieve your goals as well then I don't know what is because I started from the bottom I started with zero subscribers and I built this through my habits through my manifestation and the proof is in the pudding so just saying I didn't wake up one day and get 200,000 subscribers and make a living off of this it was a journey to get there but now when I look back on it I'm like damn it wasn't even that long of a time like it pr happened pretty quick it's just in the moment it feels like a long time because you want to get there so bad but the journey is everything in life and so as long as you're making steps every day towards your goals and what you want to achieve then you're on the right path and obviously that with balance anyways i'm gonna stop rambling on i just wanted to say thank you so much for all your constant support and i love you guys more than you know hope you guys have an amazing week ahead and i will see you guys in my next video also comment down below a goal that you guys have for this year i love you guys so much